They say the biggest secret in the world is shared between a horse and its rider. It's that time of the year when all the roads lead to the Bangalore Turf Club because 12 horses fight it out for the coveted trophy and that big cash prize. Who will emerge victorious? Will rain spoil the sport for all the people here at the Bangalore Turf Club? We at News Now bring to you all the action from the 2014 Summer Bangalore Derby. Stay tuned. It was a big day at the Bangalore Turf Club. One of the biggest races of the year attracted thousands of people from across the country. The Bangalore Summer Derby created much hype over several days and as expected, the race course lived up to expectations. Take a look at the electrifying ambience fashion czars, equestrian enthusiasts and the who's who of Bengaluru. The clubhouse was drowned in a rainbow of colours. Well, these dashing beauties are the ones who make the Bangalore Summer Derby an event that truly cannot be missed. My colleague Vivek Vinaya caught up with some of the beauties at the clubhouse and this is what they had to say. It's not just the horses, the Kingfisher Derby also attracts the best fashionistas in town. I have with me a group of ladies here looking extremely pretty. Let's start by asking this uh, lovely lady here, what are you wearing and what are the preparations like for the Kingfisher Derby when you're here? Okay, um, I'm wearing a gown and okay. I think it was the wrong day to wear a gown because I took like a long time to walk from the parking lot to here. Okay. But nonetheless, I'm here now and um, just waiting for the derby to start and okay. I guess there's this horse called Be Safe. Okay. And everyone's like, okay, that horse needs to be beaten to be won. So I think even I'm going to place my bets on it, but I think I'm going to ask Amrish Mama once. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go to some more uh, lovely ladies here. I have with me, what's your good name and uh, what are your bets on? Which horse are you betting on? It's actually my first time here okay. and I'm loving it. Uh -huh. It's a little crowded but it's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you're the first time but you're probably one of the most stunning women out here. Oh, thank you. All thank right, you. what were your preparations like uh, for the first time? You must have you know, done a lot of preparation to come here, know about the horses. I've heard so much about it from all of these girls. They've told me it's a lot of fun and you get to meet such amazing people and the races are a lot of fun. Okay. My first time, let's see how it goes. Just got here. All right, may the best horse win and then maybe you also take home a lot of money. Let's talk to this uh, lady here. Yeah. Tell me, uh, what is the kind of money you're betting on on the horses here? Well, so far I'm not betting on anything because I think uh, my luck is not so good. I would rather keep the money in the pocket, okay. enjoy my time, networking with a lot of people. I think that's what the derby is all about as well. Okay. It's like I think everybody just wants to look beautiful, pretty and uh, network and then I think it's a better, what better way to spend a Sunday in a, in a beautiful city like all Bangalore. All right, I think you, you all ladies are looking so pretty here. Do you think the rain is spoiling, you know, the, the fun for everybody here? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, if you look around, uh, it's, I don't think it's damp in anyone's spirit. Okay. The weather is damp, but so far so good. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. And uh, let's, let's speak to this uh, lovely lady here as well. Uh, interesting attire, you're looking very, very gorgeous. Thank you so much. All right, and uh, what is, uh, what is uh, the preparation like when you came here for the derby and uh, what is the dress you're wearing? Well, um, now this is like a regular event for us, like all of us, we, we hang out here, you know, bet on horses. My favorite is Be Safe. The horse's name is Be Safe this year. Everybody's playing safe, but Be Safe. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's funny, but then, yeah, I think he's a good one. So, uh, or the Majestic, you know, we, we, I mean, everybody's betting on that too. Okay. And as you can see, it's a beautiful day and everybody, all my friends look beautiful. They have their hats on, ladies looking pretty elegant in their dresses. And, and yeah, let's see, let's see, I mean. May the best win, so it's May not the best safe. horse win, but what I see is, <laughs> you know, you know, I mean, what I'm seeing here is not just the horses which are competing. It's also the lovely ladies who are competing. We are competing. We are just like having a good time. Yeah, everybody made sure that they are they're looking at their best. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, 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 and you think the, the Kingfisher Derby is like a great platform for people to, you know, enjoy time, uh, play in the right spirit. It is, you know, and especially. Um, you see here that people from from every genre is here, you know, from old to, to the young ones, and all of us are really excited because there's something something to Kingfisher. There's a big energy that we see here. So yeah. All right, may the best horse win, and uh, thank you so much for speaking to us on News Nine. There you go, some stunning ladies here who are extremely beautiful. 
uh, coming here to watch the derby. The derby is going to start in some time. May the best horse win. All eyes is on that big prize money, 2.5 crore. Who will take that away? Remains to be seen. Let's find out. It wasn't just the girls showing off at the clubhouse. We spotted Bengaluru's famous fashion designer Manovi Raj Khosla and this is what he had to say. So we saw the good-looking ladies here. It's time to see a good-looking man. It has to be Manovi Raj Khosla. After a moment, I thought it was John Lennon. <laughs> Interesting, uh, you know, uh, spectacles. Manovi Raj, as always, you're a stunning man. Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> I love them. They're a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, tell us about your experience here at the Derby, and uh, are you betting on which horse? Um, I'm not betting, no. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> but I'm here for the fun of it, the whole sort of Derby experience, and I love it. I come every year, and so I've the Derby is something I've been doing for many years. Even when I used to live in Calcutta, I used to go to the Derby every yeah, single year. Yeah. So it's a great experience over here and I see a lot of beautiful people having a really nice time. Okay. Uh, you see the women here, they're so beautifully dressed. I mean, stunning. Uh, stunning, <laughs> stunning, absolutely stunning. <laughs> Tell us something more about the stunning women who come to the Derby. Oh, uh, no, I, I'm actually really glad that women are actually a, out there at the Derby and dressed up and sort of adds to the whole festive atmosphere that a derby is supposed to be. Okay. And I think it sort of goes out very well. It's really nice to see the men dress up as well. Yes. And it's a great Sunday afternoon. And uh, what a way to spend it there with beautiful people looking beautiful. Well, you said high standards, Manoviraj. I mean, it's very tough to match up to your standards. But Manoviraj, I know you're not really, you know, betting. But any favorite horse here? Be safe. Be safe. <laughs> Everybody's playing it safe with be safe. <laughs> May the best horse win, by the way. And thank you so much for speaking to us on Newsline. Thank Pleasure you. to speak to you. Uh, that was uh, fashion designer Manoviraj Kosla getting candid with us, telling us his experience in the derby here. A lot of people, high energies, all pumped up for that race. The Kingfisher Derby, the 27th edition, remains to be seen. Which horse takes home the trophy? We also spotted Housing Minister Ambrish, who made a quiet entry to the Turf Club. We even tried to speak to the man about his favourite sport, but Ambrish refused to speak to us before the race. We really don't know what made him do that, but we certainly know that the Housing Minister was quite happy with all the attention he got from the good-looking girls around him. The big race was getting closer and rain gods started to play spoil sport. The sudden downpour made some wonder if the derby would even take place. But the chairman of the BTC looked calm and poised and was quite confident about the big event. It's very, very thrilling out here right now. I think I'm not very sure, but it seems to be a record crowd, even though it is uh, the weather gods are playing hide and seek with us. But we hope. But, uh, you know, even though it's a light drizzle, we're sure that our track will take it and we'll be able to complete the day's uh, events without any issues. 